dapat both sides like if ipaganyan mo siya the difference kasi is this one is more on manipis yung stick niya eto makapal ombre ombre So for today's video, we will be doing an all-local brand makeup look. I have so much products here na binili ko recently. And matagal-tagal ako hindi bumili ng makeup kasi ang dami kong nasistock na makeup. But luckily, na garage sale kami sa condo. And ang dami kong naput away na mga products na love ko naman. Pero gusto ko din mag-explore ng iba. Pero I can't really do it if I already have so much. So ngayon, I feel legally allowed to use new makeup, purchase new makeup. Ang dahilan lang talaga nito ay yung trip namin ni Jessica sa SM na napabili ako ng mga makeup. Bumili siya ng lipstick na meron ako kung ganun. Please may extra. The first thing that I'll be using is this Detail Cosmetics Fresh Filter. Lagi ko na itong nakikita sa TikTok. TikTok is reliable naman sa mga viral na products. I never really thought of getting it until I was in the physical store. Iba kasi pag physical store parang matatry mo talaga yung tester. I swatched it in my sa kamay ko. And nagustuhan ko yung din yung product. So, binili ko na agad. Nagre-rely kasi ako mostly dun sa... Meron kasi akong halos lahat ng shades ng Maybelline Fit Me. Ever since din ako nagpalit ng foundation. And then, I just realized na I shouldn't have closed my doors for new foundation. Kasi ang ganda ng product na to. This is only 499. Pesos. Ang ganda ng coverage niya. I think for a fresh filter, parang it still cares for your skin. And it's dewy. It's not very matte. Fresh pa rin siyang tignan. Ayun na nga. Fresh filter. Oh no. I-leave na lang natin yung parts na hindi pa nalagyan ng concealer. Hindi ko naman sinasabing expert ako sa makeup. Gusto ko lang naman to i-try. So hindi to tutorial. Pero kung gusto nyo yung gayahin, go lang. Kung may mga makeup tips kayo dyan na masyashorten in one sentence, pwede nyo naman i-comment para matuto ako. Gusto ko talaga matuto mag full face of makeup. Yung tipong hindi ko na kailangan mag-book ng makeup artist para makatipid. Meron akong damit guys. Ito yung Sunny's Face Skin So Good. Ang ganda kasi ng packaging ng mga makeup nila. And trinay ko to. Like, ang tagal ko na itong gusto. Tapos, hinintay ko lang na, ah, baka padala nila ako ng PR package. Hindi naman ako pinadalan. So, pumili na lang ako. And... <laughs> Bakit? Oh, ano mo? Nagpapakatotoo <laughs> lang ako dito. Ayaw ko nang magpaka- ano-ano, magpitin-pitin dito sa magpaka-MME sa YouTube. Kasi ako lang lalo nahihirapan. Oh. Kaya kalalanin nyo na ako. <laughs> Ayan o. Oh. Guest appearance. Hello, busy girl. Ayan. Hindi ako pinadalhan, pero... Hmm. Manda. <laughs> Manda. <laughs> M. Favorite ano ko yun? Lately. Hindi tayo mag-i-English. Pinoy ako. <laughs> Ngayon, multi-use stick ata to eh. So, the multi-stick. A skin-enhancing complexion stick. So, I feel like since multi-functional siya, wala namang sinabing pang-conceal talaga siya. Pero I feel like medyo ano kasi yung coverage niya when I tried it sa store. So, ano siya gamitin na concealer. And parang ano kasi siya, medyo wet. Tingnan niya. Feeling ko, pwede siyang pang conceal mga under eye my makeup my rules is spread natin yan using actually this is a foundation brush na binili ko sa Vice Cosmetics also very affordable like ang gusto ko kasi nung bumili ako na parang hindi ko na pinigilan yung sarili ko kasi ang dami kong gusto kasi parang the amount of like all these seven items which cost me 2,500 pesos lang that's already like for a luxury brand that's already only one product so sabi ko isipin ko na lang na nag invest ako sa isang luxury product pero I got what? Seven so they're very affordable and this brush also. I'll try to put all the links in the description para materay nyo rin. Actually, all of the products I'll be using are the ones na nagustuhan ko except yun sa mamaya na first time pa natin ito try. So, ang alam ko laman na technique is dapat i-dub mo kasi pag isi-spread mo parang basta i-dub lang daw. Hindi nga ito tutorial, try on lang, ano ba? Sabihin ko lang yung mga, ano, mga alam ko. 
Pero kung gusto niyo mag tutorial sa comment section, wala nang problema yan. Open minded tayo dito. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> na mo. Tingnan parang dito lang yung may color. Ayun, may mga tanong-tanong din ako para sagutin niyo na at matuto ako mag-makeup. Ayun, no? napaka-different ah. Siguro ko lang na ano. Meron din ako isang biniling foundation kung may review kayo nito para hindi na ako manood. Sabihin niyo. Trinay ko tas pinag-compare ko to sa dito sponsored guys. Glaraglaga na tayo dito. <laughs> Ayan. Binili ko tong dalawa to compare lang kasi feeling ko parang uh, I think mas thicker to ng coverage when I tried it. Itong Vice na Endless Dream Focus. Sabi nung attendant, the difference lang daw is ito hindi nagtatransfer sa mask. Ito nagtatransfer. So, I just tried. Ang dugo natin. Kayo, pag nagme-makeup, um, sa mga makeup guru dito or sa mga nanonood na mahilig din sa makeup videos, nilalagyan ba nila ng foundation yung eyes? Kasi yung iba, yung ginagawa nila is like different products yung nilalagay sa mata. I don't know. Let me know what you think is a good idea. Okay din naman yung ano. I think to separate din talaga siya. Masyado siyang maputi, no? I-compare mo sa neck. Kung sabi nila, the foundation shade has to match your neck. I feel like, I'm not sure if I was given the right shade. But my best friend has the next shade to this. Next darker shade. So, baka yun din yung shade ko. Kasi feeling ko magkakulay kami. But I don't know. Anyway naman, if this is lighter, kung concerned kayo, yung skin ko is, lalo na in this weather in the Philippines, nag-oxidize siya. So, it, I need to wear a shade lighter kasi in a few hours or in a few minutes nagda-darken siya. Kung totoo yan, malalaman nyo maya-maya. Next is we will try, and this is a first time try, brow gel laminator ng Happy Skin. I got so much products from Happy Skin and unti-unti ko lang binubuksan kasi ang dami na what I learned sa paglalagay is dapat both sides. Like, if ipaganyan mo siya on the other side also, you have to brush it there to really like laminate the product. Ayan, nag-laminate yun naman. If I also brush my hair upwards like that, parang meron siyang facelift effect. Ayan, tingnan nyo. Like, this is higher than the other. So, let's do it on the other side. Ayan, no? Nag-laminate talaga siya. Kasi yung iba, parang nag-gel lang siya yung parang hair, pero hindi siya nag-stay in a certain form. So, sige. Let's just leave that on to dry and then let's Clean it up later. The next thing that we are gonna do is maglagay tayo ng color stick ng Happy Skin kasi hindi ko pa ito natatry. This is a bronzer actually. So, compare natin on the other side. Vice Multi Ganda Stick. The difference kasi is this one is more on manipis yung stick niya. Ito, makapal. So, mahirap medyo mag ano nang line na fine. I mean, like, masaspread siya agad. So, discard mo na kung paano mo i-spread yan. Ayan. Let's try to blend it out with a sponge. And I think the difference is mas dark to. This is lighter. Let's also put nose contour. Dati pag nagno-nose contour ako, like, sinispread ko, like, out talaga. Up to here. But I realized dapat stay lang dyan and then bright again here. Medyo ano siya, no? Warm. Kasi the difference between bronzer and contour, guys, contour is for shadows and bronzer is for warmth. I think bronzer yung nalagay ko, kaya warm siya tignan. So I feel like this needs a little correction. Lagyan lang natin ang powder. And so I think let's just blend that out later with a dash of powder. I think dry na yung tila ko. Ayan, nagstay naman. So, this is the microblade brow pen ng Happy Skin. It's gonna be my first time to try it. Ito na ba talaga yun? Baka ganun talaga, no? Pag microblade. Ganyan lang. I feel like this is, that's not the mildness that I was going for. So, let's try this a brow palette by BYS. Let's get dark brown. Nakabother ba ang um, nose contour? So, I think we're done with the brows. I don't know 
what exactly is the look I'm going for. Gusto ko lang magamit talaga yung mga products. This is the Lovely Cosmetics Liquid Flush Blush. A little goes a long way, but for me, this product, I have so much to say about Lovely Cosmetics products. I must say, ito parang, I know, I just spread it out, but for me, it's not going to last. I feel like it's going to blend. It smells so good. Oh, so, parang, ayan, nice. It's a nice shade. For me, it's just thick. Siya. And there's this other blush that I want to try on. This is the Happy Skin Serum Blush. I think super konti lang kapat ng ilagay kasi ang dami and I think it goes such a long way. I tried it kanina on my ano and ang dami niya like konti lang pero like it's so much color already. So let's try to blend this out. It's my first time to try it on my face. I think this is a nice shade and I also just recently discovered this technique of like using cream products underneath and then topping it with the cor a corresponding colored powder. Like same colored powder. It's just like a droplet. It's very pigmented. Ayan, mamaya, maka cover lang din naman yan with other products. So it's gonna calm down. This is the Detail Cosmetics Contour and Blush Volume 2. I'm amazed when I saw this because, like I said, I just discovered that recent technique na you cream ka and then you ano just choose one. So it has everything. A bronzer, a contour, a highlighter, blush, different colors of blush, and a finishing powder. And then I just learned na yung finishing powder. It has a bit of a shimmer, but it's very thin and it gives a certain glow to the face. So I like it. Let's try to top this off with the closer color, probably, I think, a mix of these na lang, yung blush mo na. Bab, the excess. Ayan, looks soft now. I think it's also very important to, like, not over blush, like, get it here, kasi that's the space for highlighter, and here is also the space for contour. Mm. Ayan. I just realized that there's a shortage of available lip liners in the market and I got two. This one is from BYS, 169 pesos lang. So immediately got it. This is the only shade that they have though that isn't really red. Or like, say we're going for that nudish, neutral Kardashian look, which is like the trend, the makeup trend recently. And you know, something fun to do. So let's try this. Actually, this is lighter. And the other one that I have is from Lovely Cosmetics. The shade that I like is not available anymore. So I opted for the next one that I like, which is you guys. I feel like this sounds so much like Kylie Jenner, the shade name. My makeup artist friend Mar does my makeup. He really overlines and makes me do this. The difference between this is lighter. My makeup artist friend also does this thing where doesn't put lipstick on me, just lip liner all the way. And it looks so plump. Cushion tint, lovely. Shout out if you're watching. This is a multi use cushion tint, but it feels like a matte lipstick to me. And I really like it because for a cushion tint, parang mild lang. You know, when it says it's thin, so it's not heavy. And actually, it's really light, so. And the shade range, you should check. And the other stuff that this is mostly what I want to introduce to you guys. The other one is this Glimmer Eyeshadow. I got two shades. I've been looking for a product like this and grab it. It's so affordable. I think that's at 200, 300 pesos lang. So many shades, shades to choose from. Nalilito ko ano. So I got one shade na parang more on the silver side with tiny glitters na colorful. And this one is like the brown one. For this look, let's just try the silver. I'll just spread it out using my fingers. Gusto gusto ko to. Di ako naga eyeliner guys, kasi feeling ko lumili to mata ko. But I feel like it's a necessity if it's a full face of makeup. But let's not do it now. Cute. In person, parang ang ganda niya, parang impact. Kailangan ko talaga to ni spread. I hope it doesn't bother you. I hope I'm giving it justice. It's just, this is beginner makeup. Like I said, this isn't a makeup tutorial. The next thing, and I think this is gonna be the last thing after we blend this blush out. I mean, this is gonna be the last product that I'll introduce. This is Lovely's Loose Highlighter. 
I really like it. At first, my problem was maka it might be messy because it's loose. So I'm used to just a powder highlighter, you know, tawag dun, matigas. So, but this one is loose. So I feel like kailang mo lang tap like that for some product to come out. And yeah, it's already on my fingers. And then dab because it's so much. And one dab, it's already there. Um, here on the upper part of the brow bone. I know my makeup looks like a beginner's makeup. I am not an expert, but I'm just here to have fun. And this is the Issy and Go powder. They sent this to me, and uh, they sent the whole set to me. I'm skin level, uh, next level skin, and so let's use this to spread this out. This is in the shade Beach. They used my references of other brand shades to figure out my what my shade is, so... I think this is it. One thing finished na lang with these products. I'm so excited for the day na I learn how to do like a full face pageant level kind of makeup. It's not today, but it was gonna be this year. So, let's just add some depth to this. And lagi din dinalagyan dito kasi I have a huge forehead so just to add some dimension. Ayan, kita yung difference. I guess this is good. And that's our full face of local brand makeup. You know, I'm just really happy that local makeup brands are taking off and proving a point. We don't really need so much, but like, okay, I'm guilty. I still bought um, an international brand, but you know, this is all we need. I'm happy that I can make a full look with just these affordable makeup products. If, I guess that's it, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Bye-bye.